Milwaukee County jails are filling up with defendants, including 180 who are waiting for a homicide trial. It is a problem getting worse every day, and the I team Sean Gallagher shows us it could be a constitutional violation in the making. There will be nearly 500 felony trials in the Milwaukee County Courthouse this month, an indication of just how busy it is under this roof. But right next door, there are people every single day sitting in jail cells without representation as the public defender's office struggles to have enough lawyers to fulfill this basic human right. This is a crisis. That's a significant issue. The highest possible priority for us to try to solve that problem. Law professionals around the state share the concern that people behind bars are not being given their constitutional right to representation in a timely manner. It's something that even the judges are noticing. SPD has not appointed counsel. Ain't this that shooting case? It is. Still ain't got an attorney? Mm -mm -mm. I probably have a couple hundred cases every day that I see as what I'll call sort of delinquent appointments. Tom Reed at the Milwaukee County State Public Defender's Office says an attorney is usually appointed within 10 days. But there are a growing number of those delinquent appointments, as he puts it, that are taking three weeks or longer to provide an attorney. The bulk of those delinquent cases are probably somewhere between 20 and 30 days uh, before we can find a lawyer, but there are some that are quite a bit older. The I-team combed through inmate records and cross-referenced with online court records and found dozens of delinquent cases. Some waited 60, 70, even more than 80 days to have a lawyer appointed to them. When you hear that, what do you think? It makes my stomach hurt, <laughs> honestly. I mean, it is hard to imagine being charged with a criminal offense and especially being in custody for that length of time and not really being able to sit down with a lawyer and discuss, you know, the various questions that you would inevitably have. Reed says it's a numbers game. With an increase in criminal cases and several months pause on criminal trials due to the pandemic, there's an increased caseload. They only have 55 to 60 public defenders and a dwindling number of private bar attorneys who can help fill the gaps. We don't have enough lawyers to handle the cases that need appointment. While investigating this issue, we learned that Milwaukee County cases only make up about 15 percent of the backlog in the state of Wisconsin. So we came here to Madison at the state public defender's office to figure out how this is impacting every other county in the state. The best estimates we have right now are there are are somewhere around 35,000 backlogged cases. Adam Plotkin is the legislative liaison for the state public defender's office. He estimates of those backlogged cases, at least 20,000 people would financially qualify for a public defender, meaning their Sixth Amendment rights are getting violated each day they don't have a lawyer. It's unquestionably a constitutional problem, and it's a social justice problem. I mean, it's a major crisis in our legal system, and we have to believe that when somebody's charged with a crime, we're going to go about doing it the right way. This is a crisis. It's a crisis for the court system, and it's all hands on deck on trying to figure out a way to make it move smoothly and give quality trials to all the parties involved. Former state Supreme Court Justice Janine Geske served on the Milwaukee County Circuit Court in the 90s. That's the last time the county saw record-breaking homicides before the spike during the pandemic. They were able to create a 90-day schedule for homicide trials during her time, but she says it's a different problem now. It wasn't a shortage of lawyers, the underpaying of them and building the stress of them so that we don't have enough either in the public defender's office or in private counsel who are willing to take the cases. It's going to take more money and more bodies for a while to try to even that out. The money is now there thanks to the American Rescue Plan Act funds. Governor Tony Evers dumped $30 million into the state court systems to help reduce the backlog of cases. 14 million of that went to Milwaukee County, but it's only temporary relief in the form of a one-time payment to hopefully help with those staffing issues. It's a bridge, and although those are not permanent positions, it might get us to a much better place, and it might also help us to show, hey, you know, structurally, we need some additional investment in our criminal justice system to make it avoid this ever happening again. The state public defender's office says all things considered, it should take about two to three years for the entire state to get back on track. But here in Milwaukee, it could take even longer since there are more cases to deal with. Plotkin says it could take up to four years. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.